Hello, fell again with another episode of my Let's Play. Um, nah, not much has changed. I added this, this automatic door thing. Opened them both. Just really nice. I didn't put one outside, obviously, because that would just be awful. Oh, uh, got a lot of cobblestone right there. Seem to look a little better. Still the stairs there. Um. De decent amount of iron. I've actually used a lot of iron. I've gone through a couple iron picks. Um, I'm still a bachelor, as you can see by my one bed. Nothing's changed in there. I think I have some more coal. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, I got some more coal. The biggest change, though, since you last saw, has been this right here. It goes down very far, but before I go down there, though, I actually want to do one thing, which is grab that make some buckets my bucket oh I already had some iron well it's a foul on my part oh that's what I'll do then I'll make some shears so I make shears if you didn't know I hope you know by now though well, I take a little little nap in my bachelor pad come on okay now let's go get some water Wait, do I have a sword still? Oh, yeah, I do have a sword. There we go. I'm not going to need any wool right now. I have a lot of ladders there, as you can see. I would set up two pressure plates, but it wouldn't really work with the wiring I did. It's too close. I would have to back it up, the pressure plates and everything, and I don't want to do that. Nothing changed here, although I have actually changed my design. Oh, yeah, I forgot it rained. I was just wondering how that snow got there. Well, it rained for me. It snowed here, obviously. Now what I'm going to do is, though, I'm going to get some water. I think there's water right on the edge over here or something. Ah, there it is. I mean, there's water in a lot of other places, too, but... So it'll fix itself. And... Let's go. And do, 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 walk in. I'm just gonna, uh, I don't have a water break yet at the bottom, which I'm going to make and test and then hopefully not die. I don't know, they've been acting weird, but that was also in multiplayer and everything's different in multiplayer it seems. It's rather glitchy sometimes. Let's see, I kind of wish it was safe out here, it would help me with that. By the way, that closes the door when you step on it, that's also convenient. So you never forget to close your own doors. Do do okay, yeah. See I already set up the the signs. Now this is one thing, this is <coughs> Oh, that was fail. But okay, moving on. This is a, it's, it's too layered. I act I found no diamond. Annoyingly enough. Yes, you can get water. It's uh it's an infinite water spring, except it only uses three. But uh see then you fall three blocks so you take no damage. Um Oh yeah, I have these chests down here. I don't know. I think I have some... Whoa. I may have some iron in here. I know I have some smelting. See, I have a bunch of nothing in those right now. But I have 24 iron right there. Because, uh, just a quick show of what I've done. This will be for minecart tracks. That's why that's too wide. But I dug all these. You can actually see the end. There's only, um... Let's see. Well, there's nine blocks to there. And then eight to that. So, do the math because I don't feel like it. Although it's really simple, I don't care. Um, then these one, this one goes much further because what happened was there's actually a lava pool right there that I hit, so I dug around that, well, set everything up and continued it back. But I was finding absolutely nothing. It's the unluckiest I've ever been with diamond. And then uh, I didn't extend it far enough over, so I actually shot past where I was supposed to go and went all the way down to here. Must, I think I found some coal there. No, actually, that's probably iron because there wasn't enough missing to be coal. That was also probably iron. But yeah, so there's really a bunch of. Oh, yeah, though. I gotta show you that. That was pretty cool. It's uh, unupdated water. See, look at that. It's pretty cool looking. It's just water floating over lava because it never updated correctly. And 
one sec. Because I want to update it, but I don't want it to, uh, well, I don't want it to cover all this lava because this lava will be for further use later on for my nether portal and such. And you're probably thinking, why wouldn't I want it covered in water then? And that's because I won't obviously be collecting obsidian because that is an awful way to do it. Let's see if this will update though. Force update? No? Huh. Can it be that way? Oh, spread that way. Yeah, it's weird when stuff happens like this. Um, I just want to do this because it seems fun. But it's like, it just doesn't like me. Yeah, whatever. That'll be fine right there. Come on, water. Ah! I don't want to touch that. I don't know what happened. Update, water. I command you. Update! You know what, water? Fine. Oh, now it updates. Whatever, water. Screw you. You're gone now. No one liked you. Okay, well, back to actual productive things. Well, first, let's test this water break and make sure it even works. This is probably going to be very boring because I'm just climbing a ladder. I probably won't speed it up, though, because I'm going to make you suffer with me as we climb this ladder, and I spin in an, ah, unproductive circle and almost fall to my death. Well, actually, not my death. I, it, not if that water break works correctly. I don't know, because uh, on the server I frequently play on, I actually had to make a double. I had to double up the water. Okay, see, it works. And see, you fall safely, like, I don't know how many blocks that is. Well, this is... 10 and that's like 66 so just 56 blocks about something like that i don't know it depend on however high up that is i know that for a fact is layer 10 that i landed on well it says uh 10.6 it's actually layer 9 because your character is 1.6 blocks high if you didn't know that's why when you hit f3 uh, you see how high my resources are see how my my xoa i'm not standing that might help see how i'm at 69.6 the y coordinate that's how high up you are see when i jump it goes up it's at uh it's at point six because you're one point six blocks high. Fun fact I guess. Um I'm gonna put these ladders in this chest actually. This is my miscellaneous chest right now until I actually get my uh my actual uh chest room sorted out better. I need a lot of cobblestone because I'm going to begin construction of that trap now with my new ideas in mind, with my buckets of water. What ha? I said that funny. And then I said it even weirder, but. My roses. Hey, pig. Hey, other pig. That is a very high tree. I noticed it when I was exploring a long time ago. I was just looking around and thought how high that was. Now, what I want to do is actually. I'm going to change the design myself. I'm going to need a lot of wood that I don't have, though. So I'll have to get around to that later. I'll just show you the construction. Essentially what my idea is. That's correct, right? Four. Two, four. Perfect. Okay. This floor is going to essentially be a bunch of nothing. Um, Actually, I'm going to make this dirt for now. Later on, I'm going to make this glass. Because I want to. I actually don't know how far this is going to go, but... uh. This is going to be rather, this is going to be a mostly boring build. But essentially what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to make the spawning floors in the corner instead of the other way around. Because on, in his design, like most tower designs, they flow towards the sides. But I'm not going to make my killing floor here. I'm actually going to make it somewhere different. And in fact, if I choose to keep this tower, I may just have them flow down and then carry them back towards my house in a way or something. Although really this is... I probably won't keep this. I probably will use Ethos's design, if you know who he is. If not, you should definitely check out his videos, because you have been missing out on a lot. He does a lot of cool things. A lot of things I'll be making, just because his uh, his designs are 
rather convenient and very nice. I probably won't go all out though if you do watch his videos with the passive mob spawner and other things. Although it would be nice to get that amount of leather and ham and stuff. It, it's just a lot of work. Like I would have to eliminate all of that grass and it just doesn't seem very fun. Now I'm going to make this... Yeah, I'm going to make this uh, three high inside just because I want to. Actually, why am I... I don't know why I'm not doing two layers. Because I'm going to have to build this up higher anyways. I might as well be productive as I go. No, how? There. Okay. I, of course, am not going to make you watch me make this whole thing. This whole thing is actually going to be several layers high. And it would be... Not layers of floors, sorry. I'm still thinking layers. It's going to be a lot of floors high. Um, probably to be anywhere near effective would probably take like... I think his was like six, but it would probably need like eight or so at least. And really, I don't know how effective this is going to be. We actually haven't tested the output speed yet for drops per hour and other such things. So you compare it to the other tower design. So that's something we have to do. Um, one second. Yeah. Yeah. Like a boss. That's how you get down. Oh, uh, let's see. Is it already getting dark?